Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers third party review. Thanks to the team at TF Direct, we're taking a look at the Transart BWM03. This is the Metal Panther Commander. It is of course their take on a Cheetor from the Trans Metal era. Do you remember when we got, uh, who was it, Cheetor, Waspinator, Rhinox, Tarantulus, I think as the Voyagers. And then we got the mega series of Optimus Primal and Megatron back in the day. Uh, I actually wanted to get a Transmetal Cheetor to compare to this. I was bidding on one on eBay and the prices went whoop. <laughs> so wasn't meant to be, but I absolutely adore the artwork. Fabulous. And I love these little nods on the back here that we got. Primal. And Cheetor, they're done in animated style. And then we've got Black Arachnia on the back there as well. My box did get a good old boot by Royal Mail. They kind of just give it a good old kick. But everything inside arrived in one piece. Now as well as our fabulous figure, we get his tech spec card. And we get the one for Skateboard Gorilla as well. We get the Transart Cloth which we can use to clean the chrome sections. And we also get a display base along with his staff. Which way does that go? That way? I think like that, isn't it? And then we get the various different components to put on the stand. And here we have him out of his plastic prison on the turntable. He is a lump. He's got a lot of die cast going on in those legs. Now, obviously, on the offset, he looks kind of like a more updated version of the original Trans Metal Cheetor, but there's a lot of differences here. The engineering is much better. It's definitely been brought forward into the modern age. The chrome is incredibly well done on this piece. Transarts are really getting a good name for themselves. Their skateboarding gorilla was sensational. I actually made the mistake in my video of him of saying it's just kind of a remold of the original, uh, which is not the case. There's a lot of different engineering there and these are vastly superior in my opinion, uh, mainly because they don't just fall apart. <laughs> that did happen with a few of my trans metal figures over the years, they uh, not really made to last, but this guy, he looks sensational. The chrome is glistening, and unless you've been hiding under some sort of transforming rock, possibly a rock lord, uh, then you will know that they've actually done a repaint and remold of this figure, turning it into Agent Ravage. Now, I'm hoping to get a hold of one of those. Uh, the transformation is very similar, but it also comes with a small cassette, uh, very much like he did in the Beast Wars show. So he transforms into the cassette. But for those who are curious about height, he stands taller than the uh, Masterpiece Cheetor, but uh, so much heft to him. All of these kind of legs are die cast. There's some plastic in there, but a the majority of it is die cast. He's just a solid lump of a bot. And of course we need to see him alongside Boss Bot as well. That's just Prime. Let's get up close and personal with Cheetor. Really gorgeous head sculpt there. The jaw does open as well and we can close that off. He does look like he's a little bit overly zealous, a bit happy. But uh, I'm okay with that. The chrome. There I am. <laughs> I look like the leader there on the massive head. Uh, <laughs> just amazing colours on here. Articulation. The head can look up. And we can look down. We can go left and we can go right. We can tilt side to side. As I did mention, the jaw does move. Uh, we can move the arms forwards up. Uh, to the side there, there is a bicep and butterfly hinge here, which allows us to bring the arms right forward. So we can do that uh, Cheetor head to the front when he uses that 
as a cannon. Uh, we've got a bend and rotation on the elbow all the way up. And we've got a pivot and rotation on that wrist. So it rotates up and the claws can open up. We have rotation at the waist. We have an abdominal crunch on the waist. Uh, mine keeps coming untabbed from the upper torso section, but I love this kind of accordion style stomach piece. Uh, the idea is it's meant to kind of tab in, I think, but uh, it does pop up and down. But you've got a lot of range in there as well. The legs can come forwards on ratchets, out to the side on ratchets, upper thigh rotation in there, one big bend on that knee. We do have one on the shin as well for when we go into beast mode. And then we have up and down. And we have some pivoting left and right on those feet. Unfortunately, no rotation left and right on the feet though. But oh, I definitely did not skip leg day, did he? Look at the size of those chunkies. Cool. Not on the leg wrestle with him, would you? So I'm not sure if we're meant to use these heel spurs for bot mode. Uh, I think it really balances it out because it comes packaged like that with the uh, heel spurs out of the way and just using that flat foot. But I don't think it matters either way. Uh, I mean, I didn't get any instructions again, so I don't know if it's just me that doesn't ever get the instructions. So I kind of guess my way around it, but really loving him as a figure. And this is what I kind of meant by the kind of attack pose. So the arms can come forward on that butterfly joint. He's got such balance on those big, sturdy legs. Really playable figure. It's glorious as he looks. Let's get him transformed up. You'll notice pull off this chest tab, untab this back piece that drops down. We can slide the head in like this. Uh, bring the arms up to the center. Come on. There we go on that hinge. Same on this side. Bring that up to the center. And much like we did for that arm cannon, you want to just join the head around like so. This is then going to rock forwards. And you see that there's this tab here and tab here. Those are gonna locate on the inside of the chest, tabbing into position. Ha <laughs> ha look at that, <laughs> I love that. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> I mean, yes, that, that, was, uh, that was cool, wasn't it? <laughs> Brilliant. I love the fact that they fire upwards. Uh, you've got these ratcheted arms that can come down, ratcheted arms that can come down. Oh, look at that. Anyway, uh, come back to these legs. They are on those double hinges. So we can come down, double hinge, double hinge, like so. <laughs> uh, there we go, him in his flying beast mode. I just kind of dropped the legs down a little bit more there. So it looks like he's kind of pounced into that position. I do love those spring loaded jet packs though. This figure does come with those lovely thruster pieces you can see there. The tail just tabs in to the buttocks, just slots right on in there. And obviously we can put various different hinges on that stand as well. But yeah, that is our flying Cheetor. <laughs> it's not bad, is it? Not bad at all. Uh, definitely prefer the bot mode, but the beast mode is exactly what it needs to be. It's pretty much spot on with show accuracy love the colors love how vibrant it is and i love the fact that we get a cleaning cloth so i can clean up all that chrome once i've transformed him to and from now as gorgeous as he looks he's not perfect i would like a little bit more uh, solidarity i guess in these joints They're a little bit loose on those arms i mean he poses remarkably well for a feline character got a little bit of range on that head not a great deal but enough to move it left and right these are on ratchets they can come out a little bit but like I said this one here is a little bit too loose but it is a double hinge 
So we can get pretty much any pose we want out of it. Just bear in mind that it's a tad loose. And of course we've got those really solid double jointed sections on those legs. And we do get that waist rotation. It can bend side to side there as well. Does everything that he needs to. And I'm not gonna get Prime transformed up into his gorilla mode. In fact, I may invest in a second Prime because at the moment I've got kind of a mixture in my Beast Wars. I've got a lot of the KO Beast Wars as well. It's KO Masterpiece ones. So I've got one of each, like a Beast mode and then a Bot mode. And the Transart figures are worth absolutely every penny that you pay for them. So I may invest in one of each again because I absolutely adore Beast Wars. It's kind of, I was born in 84. So when Beast Wars came out, I was kind of like 10 and it was ideal for me. These are both incredible figures. If you haven't already checked out my Primal review, I'll include a link to that at the end of the video as well. But yep, these are both highly recommended figures. Cheetor, I think his bot mode is better than what his cheetah mode is. And I'm really looking forward to getting Ravage and see how he fares. But all in all, you're not gonna be disappointed. These are good, solid figures and way, way better than anything I'd ever imagined that Transart could have put out. Some of their first pieces were very questionable. They have more than made up for it with this current Transmetal line. Thank you all for watching for myself and the rest of the Collectibles household. Until next time, ah, goodbye.